Okay, back to Estar. Which is not this continent, but the one right over here. So now what they don't tell you is that Estar has a helipad, has an air station to land with the Ragnarok. And it's right here, right next to the palace. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't even tell you it has it. So we got to go through Estar, which is teeming with monsters now, because the Lunar Cry literally happened right outside Estar, and monsters are everywhere. Uh, there's too many of them. Yes, I know. So we're going to be encountering monsters as we wander around the city. Uh, I don't want to save right now. I forget, one of these fallen soldiers is an Elanoil, which is a very, very dangerous enemy, but you can steal or get, uh, oh, dang. Woo! Look at these things! These are new monsters! Uh, blind, silence, confuse, break... No, hold on. You have life, death. Death is a good one. Okay, I'll do that one. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No, Taylor! Why would you do that? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Thundaga? Thundaga! Wah! Okay, well, that didn't do too bad. Wow, Taylor, we have got to figure out something for her magic stat. Okay, we got to can't select remedy her. Taylor, why'd you do that? Okay. No! This is bad! This is so bad! Okay, so here's where we're ah! <laughs> These enemies. These enemies are bad. The Confuse is the worst one, actually. I don't care about Blind and Silence at this point, because we're not attacking. Stock. Thank you. Go! Go, 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 go! Out of here. We're out of here. Whew. Okay. Okay, so we need to... Uh, make a potion. Elixir. Make a phoenix. Antidote. Soft. Echo screen. Eye drops. Hero. Which we will be using eventually, I guess. Uh, eye drops. We need to buy some more of that stuff. Okay, who has death? She has 15 death. So, we give everything to Selfie. Everything to Selfie because she's got it all. There we go. Okay, so we got some, uh, not exactly dangerous, but tricky monsters, but we still need to go to the Presidential Palace, which is all the way over there, but I'm taking the long way, because I want to hit up uh, the the shopping mall. Because uh, this, is, this is basically going to be our last shopping trip, and we want to use as much money as we possibly can. Ah, Dispel. I'll draw that. Forget who has to spell. Oh wait, nope, nope. Selfie needs to do it. And speaking of which, let me go check my junctions. Fifty-four, forty. Oh, sorry, twenty-three, thirty-six, twenty-seven. Uh, they have okay magic stats. 
Some of the higher level spells will be really hard for them to draw. Okay, so we're continuing to go the outer route. Hitting up a enemy party every single screen. <laughs> At least we don't have a Torama, the, the little tigers. Those are the ones with confuse. Okay, we're gonna continue to stock Dispel. Because it's awesome. So far, so good. Here's the shopping mall. Tornado. Yeah, I wanted Matthew to check that tornado. Would you like to go shopping? Yes. Uh, pet store. We're having a sale. Uh, actually we should sell... Pet Pals, and that. Uh, you know what, we'll just, we'll deal with that later. Item shop, here we go. Here you go, high potion. No, I'm not, I don't want to buy, no, stop. Item shop. Here we go, eye drops. We are using so much ammo! Uh, okay. Man, Cheryl's shop is always closed. Okay, do, can we do anything in the junk shop yet? Not a single thing. Alright, cool. Okay, we're done shopping. We've stocked up quite a bit on things. So now we're on our way to the presidential palace. Eventually. <laughs> Once the game allows us to get there. Ah, it's a tiger! Uh, Jimmy? Yeah, I'll do that. No, why are you attacking, Selfie? Matthew had death, right? Uh, Bio, we'll just deal with it. I think it only matters if I actually use him to attack. We're running. Yeah, got a little experience there for attacking, but whatever. Ooh, we need to buy some more antidotes, so we need to go to another, uh, another store, another shop somewhere, and go grab some antidotes. We need to be absolutely prepared for Disc 4 nonsense. Ah! Oh, it's just a turtle pod. We're okay. Just grinding at this point. Come on, buddy. Let's run. That's cool. There we go. <laughs> Oh, this way. Dang, that thing is way messed up over there. That star is a complete disaster. Oh, probably it went haywire because of the lunar cry. Yes. So they're 
protecting the palace so no monsters get in. So let's go meet this Kairos. So the door that was locked earlier is where we can now get into now. And they're just letting us on through. Ward. Kyros. And that's probably... It's Sir Laguna! It's really him! Matthew, what do I do? <laughs> what is up with this country? Oh, sure. Hey there! Been wanting to meet you guys. You guys are the ones who were inside my head, right? Alone told me. It was like there were some kind of waves running through my head. They gave us so much power during battle. We thought there were some kind of fairies flying over us. So, I'm Laguna, President Laguna Lore of Estar. Pleased to meet ya! <laughs> This is such an interesting story you have. A Gabaldian soldier ended up being the president of Estar. If you weren't in a state of emergency, I'd talk to you some more, but, well, whatever. Let's talk. What do you want to know? You'll never get going if President Laguna keeps talking. So why don't you guys throw out some questions and he'll try to answer them. Man, you look way too serious. Whatever. Alright, so where's Alone? What the heck has he done with his life? Don't you wonder? Where Alone was about two, there was a massive hunt for girls in Estar. Estar soldiers came to Windhill, and Ellie's parents resisted. They were killed on the spot. The massive hunt was to find the successor for Estar's ruler, Sorceress Adel. Alone was raised by Rain, who lived next door, and I came to know her. Then there was another massive hunt for successor in Estar again. Ellen Elliot was taken away even though I was there. It's the most painful episode of my life. So I rescued her and sent her off to Windhill. Shortly after that, Rain died. And Elone was sent straight to an orphanage. Why didn't you go back to Windhill with her? I wanted to. But I had my reasons. I found out about this afterward, but the reason why Elone had to leave the orphanage was because of her special power. Doc Odin wanted to do research on Elone's special power. He looked for her everywhere. The owners of the orphanage were Sid Kramer and his wife, Edia. You know them better than I do. The Kramers took Elle out of the orphanage to protect her and hid her within Balam Garden at the beginning of the game. They began prepared a big ship to accommodate her. Gracious of them, huh? After a while, the ship turned into another orphanage and Ellie looked after all the kids. She said her life on the ship was a happy one, but who knows? I don't know how she could have been happy on a ship. She was on the ship for over ten years. The ship was attacked by Gabaldi recently. Esther's ship rescued them, and she finally met up with me. It was pure luck that we found her. I was out in space at that time. Alone followed me out to space. Little Ellie was all grown up. Then she told me everything. Did she get back safely from space? Our escape pod rescue team was a little late. Alone was taken into custody by Gabaldi, so she might be in the Pandora. Yep, she's inside. <laughs> We're gonna rescue her. Help us out, okay? Oof. So, tell me about... No, let's... What are you doing here? Why are you president? You know what I've been doing all my life, right? You were a silly Cobaltian soldier. I don't like your attitude... Didn't like your attitude at all. But I understood the bond between the three of you. And you changed after you went to Windhill. Then Alone was abducted by Estar and you went on a journey. A journey to get Alone back. You wrote articles and appeared in movies to get by. You were trying to find a way into Estar. You somehow got into Estar and rescued Alone. I got a lot of help along the way. What I don't understand is, why are you the president? Want to know? It's a long story. Yes? Oh, uh, really? Okay, I'll tell you. I only set out to rescue Alone because, of course, that wasn't the end of my story. It's a country ruled by Sorcerer's Adel. 
with the ingenious yet inhumane Odin. Both of them were interested in a loan. We couldn't just pack up and leave. So you get a nice little uh, cutscene over here that you wouldn't have got otherwise if you didn't tell him to tell the whole story. Ada will be angry. My research will be kaput. Odin only thought about his research. <laughs> ah! He's running! Ah! Ellie alone thinks it's a game. She's running after them. <laughs> but while research under Adel's orders, he was still making many inventions. was a device to seal magic. Maybe Adel can be defeated. I owe a big favor to the Adel Resistance who helped me rescue alone. I spoke with my comrades. Two issues came up. First, stopping the Crystal Pillar from calling monsters from the moon, and destroying everything like what happened in Sintra. Second, freeing Estar from Adel's hands. We planned and planned, based on my brilliant ideas, of course. Ah, there's the Pandora right back there, beyond the, the facility. Back in the Pandora, Lunatic Pandora Research Facility. <laughs> There's only one goal. <laughs> They're gonna do something big here. Following Odin's instructions, we operated the panel and moved the crystal pillar. We set the course and stop point in the ocean, and goodbye. And that's where it was before the Galbaldians found it. Yeah, moving something this big without Adel's permission, that's going to get her attention. Really bad. <laughs> that was easy, but we were found out. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hide something like that. So we gathered for a final battle to lure Adel. <laughs> ah, look how they're all bowing. Oh. <laughs> she is tall. Oh my gosh, she's a tall sorceress. Adel appeared as we expected. What is going on? We hunted down the culprit who moved the crystal pillar. Where? Inside there. Alone's been taken hostage. I knew she would go in right away if I mentioned alone. You thought I would fall for that trick? Adel realized that alone was a hologram, but it was too late. Yeah, of course. My plans are always perfect. Kiros Ward now. Ha <laughs> ha piece of cake. Ada was careless. She may be a sorceress, but after all, she was human. We succeeded, but we couldn't keep such a dangerous sorceress around as a trophy. So what do they do with her? We had to do something. So we decided to send her far, far away. Someplace very far into outer space. There's not just one, not two, but three Ragnaroks taking this tomb out into space. All this just to put Sorceress Adel away. That's how dangerous she was. <laughs> and it's arguably that ultimacy is even more dangerous. And that about wraps that part up. But the real work began after that. A fierce debate ensued about who should govern this country after Adel was gone. I wasn't paying close attention while they made me up to be this hero of the revolution, and I ended up being president. Odie made a lot of noise about wanting to do research on alone. It was a mistake to send alone, alone back to Rain. Rain died, and Ellie was sent to the orphanage. If I only had gone to Windhill with her, I would have been able to see Rain one last time. Ah, Rain was dead, alone missing, my job kept me busy. 
I was left here thinking about this and that. Before I knew it, all this time had passed. Well, that's about it. <laughs>